Hey folks, welcome back for yet another build video. This time around we are chasing that mag size again, but with a little bit of a twist. So let's get right into it. For those of you who are here for a short time and not a long time, this build centers around True Patriot and Brazos the Octopus. This is something I've touched on before. Obviously both of those between the third brand bonus for Brazos and the three piece bonus for True Patriot. Both of those are the primary ways you can increase your magazine size for your weapons in this game. Now the last time we visited this concept was shortly before the Ninja Bike Messenger backpack came out. And back then the only way to achieve this was obviously three pieces of True Patriot and three pieces of Brazos the Arquebus, which was somewhat limiting in that we were spending three of our armor slots on a gear set and not getting that four piece bonus. This time around with the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag's resourceful talent, we can achieve both Max Mag size and True Patriot's red, white, and blue. So here we've gone with the Gunner specialization for a few reasons specifically the coupler talent, the incessant talent, and the special 50 round magazine for light machine guns. As you can see there for the secondary weapon, we have gone with an LMG. So that additional capacity on top of everything this build provides is a nice bonus. On top of that, you're gonna be killing a lot of enemies without having to release the trigger. So the 7.62 minigun ammo acquisition talent is gonna be much easier to come by than you would ordinarily do with an SMG. Getting into that for the primary weapon here, we've gone with the Chatterbox, which may not be a gun you would typically associate with a true patriot build i'll draw your attention to that third paragraph there where kills refill 50 percent of your magazine so by increasing your overall magazine size you're increasing the number of bullets that each kill refills specifically for this build with a 90 round magazine we're refilling 45 bullets every time you kill an enemy that pairs particularly well with the incessant talent from the gunner because you're going to get armor on kill you're going to get ammo back with every kill. So really you're searching out kills here. And on top of that, the barrage talent is going to increase your rate of fire on top of what your reload does with the first paragraph there, where for every enemy within 15 meters, you increase your rate of fire by 20% up to a maximum of 100%. So that's particularly where increasing your magazine size comes in handy here these ordinarily with the chatterbox where i found it failing was you would rush in in a group of enemies trigger a reload try and increase your rate of fire as much as possible but then as you work your way through those enemies as you kill each one and as you had to reload you would decrease your rate of fire for every enemy that you've lost but with the max size increased to 90 rounds, you increase your ability to take enemies out without having to reload, given that kills automatically refill 50% of your magazine. So even on heroic content, you can work your way through enemies without having to reload. And each time you do, you get some ammo back, armor back, and increase your rate of fire even more than it already is. So it's really just a building talent that with 90 rounds in the mag, gives you a much greater chance to sustain that throughout the entire conflict. For our secondary weapon, we've gone with the Quiet Roar SMG. Part of it's just for the party piece of having over 400 rounds in that mag. But more importantly, the reason why we've got an LMG here, even though you can't use it with the Striker Ballistic Shield, is that it's a great complement to the Chatterbox, where obviously the Chatterbox is a very close range weapon. You're going to run in, get yourself in a crowd, reload the weapon to increase your rate of fire, and then try and take everyone out. The Quiet Roar, or really any LMG you want to put here, is obviously the much more standard pairing with a True Patriot build. It allows you to sit back behind cover, build those stacks of red, white, and blue, and kill enemies. Particularly if you're going to be running in a group, this LMG as a secondary weapon is a great way to provide support to your teammates. Particularly now that control points are back in the mix for being a great way to get experience. You can use this build to go from a control point to a resource convoy to a public execution where each one might have a different range of contact with the enemy. You can run around without having to switch your builds for every different situation. And then on top of that, we have the perfectly overwhelmed talent here, where suppressing an enemy grants an extra 12% damage for 12 seconds, and that stacks up to four times. So it's a great way to buff your weapon damage if you need it. And for the sidearm, we've gone with the Orbit, specifically for the perfect finisher talent, which increases your crit hit chance and crit hit damage on kill. 
So this is a great way to buff your crit hit chance if you're using the Quiet Roar, and a great way to give yourself even more crit hit damage with the Chatterbox. For our mask, we have our first piece of True Patriot gear, which coupled with the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag gives us that two-piece bonus of plus 30% ammo capacity. Not nearly as important as the three-piece bonus, but given that both our primary and secondary weapons are ones that you're typically just holding down the trigger and trying to get as many rounds out as possible, having a higher ammo capacity will get you between ammo boxes much more comfortably. And then down here, we have rerolled the core attribute to weapon damage which means that that secondary attribute slot is locked in as armor regen. Not a bad one, but if we could, we would have gone crit hit chance or crit hit damage here. And then we have crit hit damage in the mod slot. For our backpack, we have the aforementioned Ninja Bike Messenger backpack. Those three core attributes are great, but the primary reason it's on here is for that resourcefulness talent. It allows us to get max true patriot with only three pieces and all three brand bonuses for Brazlis to Archibus with only two pieces. Speaking of, for the chest piece, we have our second piece of True Patriot gear, giving us our plus 30% mag size that we've been talking about. And then down here, we've gone with a core attribute of armor, a critical hit chance attribute rerolled in the secondary attribute slot, and then crit hit damage in the mod slot. Which specific attributes you go with between crit hit chance and crit hit damage will be up to you and your personal math. But just keep in mind, on this build, given that you're using the Chatterbox, Critted Damage and Critted Chance, wherever you can get it, is the way to go. The last thing to talk about here is that we went with the chest piece, Waving the Flag, which increases the red, white, and blue rotation speed from 2 seconds to 1.5 seconds. You could certainly go with a different chest and chest piece talent here. You just want to make sure it's Brazos to Archibus. Personally, I do enjoy putting this chest piece on there. I feel that that additional rotation speed means that I more often apply both red, white, and blue before killing an enemy, which does proc the full flag talent, which we'll get into a little bit later. But I did want to make note that is somewhere you could vary this build very easily if you want a different chest piece on there. Just make sure it is Brazos to Archibus to get all three brand bonuses for that. For the gloves here, we've gone with our first piece of Brazos to Archibus, which gets us our skill haste and skill tier bonuses. Not bad things to have, but really it's just two steps on that path to that plus 20% mag size. And then we've also re-rolled the core here to weapon damage. And then we have critical damage and crit hit chance in those attribute slots. And then for our holster, we've gone with the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag sidekick of Picaro's holster. It gets us that plus 20% mag size, getting us all the way to our 90 round mag for the Chatterbox. For that secondary attribute, we've rerolled it to crit hit chance. Again, whether you go crit hit chance or crit hit damage in this slot will depend on your own personal math. And we also have that weapon damage core in that second attribute slot. For our knees, we have our last piece of True Patriot gear, getting us that four-piece bonus of red, white, and blue. This is something we didn't have on the previous iteration of this build because we had to go with three pieces of True Patriot and three pieces of Brazos to Archibus. Obviously, now with the resourceful talent from the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag, we have the freedom to get the four-piece bonus. This is a great talent in solo play. It's even better in group play, where red amplifies enemy damage taken, white repairs your armor, and then blue decreases your enemy damage output. And I mentioned this is a great group talent because that is not specific to you. All you have to do is mark an enemy with red, white, and or blue, and then any agent in your group will get all of these benefits and debuffs. So again, that's part of why the Quiet Roar is on there as the secondary weapon. When you're running in a group, you may find yourself pulling back a little bit further, firing from long range, and just tagging enemies with red, white, and blue to give your allies all of the benefits here and again this is part of why we went with the true patriot chess piece if an enemy has all of red white and blue applied when they die it'll create a five meter explosion which deals damage equal to their total health and armor to all enemies within five meters which is just a great additional benefit of the true patriot gear set and honestly who doesn't love fireworks so for the skills here, we've gone with the Banshee Pulse and the Crusader Ballistic Shield. The Banshee Pulse in particular is a great pairing with Chatterbox. What I find myself doing is you'll identify a group of enemies, blast them with the Banshee Pulse to disorient them, which allows you time to reload, get that max rate of fire, and then hopefully take all of those enemies down while Disorient is still applied. And then the Crusader Ballistic Shield, obviously you're going to be running up close and personal with the Chatterbox. 
So having some additional defense is a great way to keep yourself upright. On top of which, between the armor cores and the skill tiers, you've got a tier 5 shield tier, which is really great considering you also have 5 weapon cores on this build. Which is the last thing to talk about with this build. Obviously, I re-rolled a number of core attributes from what they natively drop with. That's something that obviously takes a bit of extra time to farm. On top of which, the specific balance of armor and weapon cores is going to be specific to your particular playstyle. This is what worked for me, and this is what I'd recommend trying. But obviously, if you feel like you need more damage output, you can reroll that chest piece to weapon damage. And conversely, if you find yourself going down too often, you could leave a couple of those True Patriot and Brazos to Archibus core attributes as armor to both buff your shield and your armor overall. That's something that I would absolutely recommend just playing around with, figure out what that sweet spot is for you. But first and foremost, try this one out. Let me know in the comments what your sweet spot was, what your number of weapon damage and armor cores was. Again, for me, it was a 5-3, but for you, it might be an even 4-4 four four, or even a 3-5. and five. Either way, let me know in the comments. As always, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Just keep